I think it would be awesome if we move past the constraints of calling somebody a non-employer or a full-time person. Yes. So thinking about if we're all people, we wake up every day, we do a job, um, how we are classified at a company is so insignificant at this point, um, especially in how we're all now intermingled in remote work or on-site, off-site, doesn't matter. And what we've realized and what we've seen is it to really have an impact, it can't be separate activity. It has to be core to the company's culture. And so we have a year's worth of data to work through with clients and we're really seeing change. We're seeing focus and strategies that aren't just focused on full-time workers, but are focused on contingent workers and seeing an increase in diversity. Um, one of our clients that I just went through the other day, so it's very top of mind, we're, we saw in the last year an increase of 5% in their black representation, 11% in Hispanic representation um, to just highlight. And we wouldn't have known that. We wouldn't even have been focused on it if we hadn't been collecting data. You have to be careful what you ask for, because whatever you ask for, you better be ready to act on. If you don't act on it, then it's going to do more damage. So I think organizations really have to think about the strategy around that too. What we found was that the, the, the business case was still proven, but the top, the number one um, benefit from DEI is now access to highly skilled candidates. So think about that. If we're in a labor market with a historic su supply demand gap, um, such that everyone is competing for these highly skilled uh, uh, these candidates. If you had an approach that would guarantee you a competitive advantage to their access and at the same time produce a high ROI, like why wouldn't you do it? Now is the time to be proactive and think about the learn long term impact of the decisions um, that potentially you know will, will need to be made relative to diverse you know talent when we start thinking about um, kind of the the economic downturn. It's not always about the really awful discrimination. Um, it's it, sometimes it's the microaggressions. And so looking at how we can own the fact that we have bias, own that we all have that and figure out ways to create a better environment for everybody, that's what's important. So for me, um, it's bigger than making a difference for our clients, even though that's what I'm here for. It's about making our workforce better for the future leaders, for the future women leaders, for the future everybody leaders, um, including my daughter.